underneath it, normally you expect to see a big chassis, long chassis rails, and there's none of that on this car. It's all the strength is purely in the body, uh, which is remarkable really because it has no roof on it. Um, so all the strength is taken with the body and there's no body flex. It just drives superbly and uh, was way ahead of its time in its day. It's very light, I imagine. Very light. And I think this is why they're regarded as a great car for rallying in um, because of their agility and their speed. Well, it's not long to go now until the revival meeting here at the Goodwood Circuit. And one of the highlights is always the Bonhams auction. As you can appreciate, the catalogue is crammed full with some stunning cars. One in particular caught our attention, and that's this rather pretty 1925 Lancia Lambda. So we put in a phone call, and Bonhams very kindly agreed to bring it down to the circuit for us to get a closer look. So here it is, and here's the man who bought it down, Rob Gill. Rob, thanks ever so much. Hi, Andy. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Uh, okay, what is it? We know it's 925 Lancia Lambda. What else do we know? It's a fourth series car, which is um, was only produced, they produced 850 of them. Um, but the interesting thing about the Lancia Lambda is it was the first car with a monocoque body uh, without a stressed roof. Um, and the first car to have sliding pillar independent front suspension, which was way ahead of its time. This particular car is really nice because the 4 Series is a short chassis torpedo with this angled windscreen, and it has this lovely old aluminium dashboard with the original gauges and Jaeger clock, um, and just a dream to drive. It's sort of all, Lancia's always been, or for the vast majority of its history, it's been a very technologically advanced mark. Now, Engine-wise, I had a quick look at it before. Yeah. It's a peculiar-looking thing. <laughs> this range. What's happening there? Well, it's a V4 engine. It's a very tall engine, so it's quite short. Um, it's a very close V, 2.1-litre engine. Um, very advanced for its time. It's uh, got roller rockers on the rockers. With uh, they're drilled for lightness and uh, just way advanced in its day. say it's, it's, it's fun to drive, it, it feels like quite a sporty thing. It is, it, it's light, it's nimble, it's got really su uh, stiff suspension uh, so it doesn't roll and lean on the bends at all, it's really nice, very similar to driving a modern car today. Compared to cars of this era which generally had leaf springs all around and were bouncing, this is firm, it's stiff and it, it's a real pleasure. We're going a bit faster. collection and used it for rallies and for fun at weekends. Um, before that the car was in the UK and belonged to a gentleman for about 40 years and looking through the service history and paperwork for the car there's invoices going back to the early 70s which is really nice. So, there we are really, a beautiful, delectable, exquisite, very, very tasteful 1925 Lancia Lambda, which will be offered for sale by Bonhams at the Revival sale uh, during the Goodwood Revival in September. And uh, believe me, if I'd paid enough attention to school, I would be bidding for it.